Okay guys, hold on. Oh my God, why is it foggy? Hello? Hey guys. So, so basically I just booked, I just booked a hotel in Savannah, Georgia. And I'm going by myself. I'm kind of freaking out right now. I woke up early because I was planning on doing this, but I hadn't had a hotel booked. So I woke up at like eight o'clock and I was like, in the past like three hours, I've been contemplating if I actually want to do this. Like I've been just like, hmm. Just going around in my head like, do I really want to do this? Do I want to go by myself on a trip, drive five hours by myself, go in a hotel? I'm kind of freaking out. Like, it, it, I'm freaking out. But once I, like, actually booked the hotel, I felt better. Like, I was like, okay, I'm actually doing this. Like, it's happening. And I'm excited. I've never been on any type of vacation by myself. I've never been to a hotel by myself. I've never been anywhere by myself. So... It's time. I'm ready. I'm freaking out, but I'm ready. I was planning on going to Atlanta first, but I was like, okay, this is my first time going somewhere by myself. I don't really want to go somewhere that I've never been. That's too much for me right now at this point in my life. I need to take baby steps, but I've been to Savannah like four times. I don't know. I know it. It's time to go alone, to brave this world alone. I'm going to stop at Starbucks really quick to get food and maybe coffee. I'm like contemplating because I don't want to like shit on the way but if i get decaf like i think i'll be fine i'm also gonna have to stop to get gas so i just went to starbucks i got a tall iced white mocha every fucking time tall iced white mocha with oat milk decaf and caramel dark caramel on top it's very good hopefully they put decaf we'll see i also got a bacon gouda but i like i already ate that because i was like really hungry and i just went to wawa i got gas so i'll have enough to get there and i got a granola bar because it's a five hour trip and i'm don't know if I want to stop for food. We'll see. I probably will, but like, I don't know. I'm still gonna water. I'm about to get on the road now. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's already 12:30, so I'm not gonna get there until 5:30, which is kind of kind of sucks but honestly i just like didn't want to wake up early this morning i wanted to like give myself enough time to like rest not that i really needed it but like i like my sleep i knew that if i woke up early i would be starting this trip off on the wrong foot okay hour two i'm at a stoplight oh, oh. don't try to hit me please i don't want to be hit I've essentially just hit the halfway point. I'm in traffic right now. Feeling kind of good, feeling kind of tired. My body just needs a fucking stretch. Kind of not bad at this little traffic patch so I can fucking stretch a little bit. Getting kind of hungry, so I'm about to eat this Nola bar. I've been listening to music for the past two and a half hours and I think I'm gonna listen to an audiobook now because I just need to like switch it up a little bit. I'm kind of tired of listening to music, to be honest. I already downloaded one before I left. A TikTok recommended me. I started listening to this EP by The Paper Kites. It just gave me like, it just gave me like Oregon vibes. Like going on an adventure through the forest in Oregon. Like, bro, I miss Oregon so much. Y'all see me moving to Oregon. It was to be expected. Da, 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 da. I'm going a little bit crazy. I'm feeling a little bit dead, but I'm here. I just went to Target. I needed body wash and toothpaste. My toothpaste that I have at home, the cap fell down the sink hole. And I got a water, smart water. I got this. Um, this is probably for a small child, but I'm about to drink it because I feel like I'm dying. Did I literally feel so... That last hour hit hard. I was doing fine until the last hour and I'm like ready to go to sleep and I feel so gross. I also feel kind of out of it. Not really good but it's not bad. I feel like it was a combination of the road trip plus me listening to that book, which was very good by the way. It's called Neon God. I'm about to head to the hotel, but I'm like wondering if I should get food first or just go to the hotel, chill for a second, and then get food. It's so wild that I'm literally in Savannah. Let's see how far the hotel is. Okay, it's 11 minutes away. Oh, well, look, there's a Chipotle right next to where I'm going. I'm dying. I'm dying. I actually don't really know what the um, hotel looks like, like the room, because I looked at so many hotels the past like three days. But I don't remember which one I actually booked, to be honest. They kind of all meld together. And I could look it up, but I'm just gonna leave it to surprise. Really, all I had to eat all day is the fucking bacon and good sandwich, and all I had to drink was that one water, and it's 5.46 p.m., so. 
Oh, I also had a granola bar if that counts for anything. Okay, guys, I'm here and I'm really freaking out. This hotel is a little bit sketchy. I'm kind of freaked out a little bit. I feel a little unsafe, but I guess I'll give you guys a little tour. The hotel room isn't bad, honestly. It's like the outside like the lobby and everything. I literally feel like it's either haunted or I'm gonna get murdered, so. Hotel room tour. It looks so dark and like creepy, but I turned on this light and that's all it turns on, so. It's got two beds, a whole couch, TV, and then this bathroom, and a little closet. Oh cool, there's a microwave and a mini fridge. It's only for one night, so I'm like not even... <gasps> yes! Okay, I forgot my charger and like I realized it when I was still close to my house, but I didn't want to turn around. So I was going to just buy a charger, but at Target, like, they like didn't have any that were like reasonably priced or even just like... All I needed really is the piece, like the... What's it called? The thing that goes into the wall because I have the a cord in my cart. I just don't have the piece that goes into the wall, but... They have one of these thingies, and I was hoping for that. Yay! Like, what if there's cameras in here? I was gonna like go out and do stuff tonight, but kind of really not feeling that. So I'm gonna go get food right now at Chipotle, which is like across the street, and come back and just chill and watch something. I'm so scared, so I don't wanna die today. Also, I forgot to say, the check-in process was so much easier than I thought. I literally just showed my ID, signed a paper, and then she gave me the keys, and that was it, so. I got Chipotle. Should I take it now? Okay, anyways, I got you what, like, I'm excited about it because I'm starving. Let's see. <gasps> Did they not give me a fork? Oh. They didn't give me a fork. Oh, dude, I don't, I don't have anything, anything that I could possibly. possibly. Why would they not give me a fork? Oh my gosh. I want to cry right now. I'm just so hungry. I have one downstairs that I really don't want it to go right now. I'm like trying to think of all the fucking things use for a fucking fork right now. Let's be resourceful here. Let's be resourceful. I'm gonna use this cup as a fork. Wait, stop. I brought scissors just in case I need to fend off someone trying to attack me. It's like a little spoon. Let's see if this works. Is this a horrible idea? Yes, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. Yum. Mm. It's like the possibility of cutting my lip on the jagged edges of the plastic cup just really brings excitement to my meal. It really like spices it up. Oh, my face texture looks rough, bro. Oh my god. Anyways, I edited a little bit and then I was just chilling and I watched some of the show manifest i just started watching this like a few days ago it's actually pretty good i'm already about episode seven it's really good a lot's happening it's juicy a lot of drama i'm really tired i'm about to fall asleep i was trying to go to sleep earlier I was trying to go to sleep at, like nine o'clock honestly but now it's 12 o'clock it's 12 16 a.m we're gonna sleep and i'm gonna sleep in my clothes because i forgot to like bring shorts to go underneath my dress i always wear shorts underneath my dress like for the most part especially if i'm like walking around a lot but i brought black boxers to wear to sleep in so i could use those tomorrow for shorts so like i don't flash people but to do that i have to like not wear them tonight and i don't want to sleep naked because i don't know who's been in this bed i'm sleepy tired i started using that H-A, B-H-A peel, and it's supposed to help with texture, but it looks like it's making it worse. I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm ready to go to sleep. I got a water at Chipotle. I'm gonna put that in the fridge so it's cold in the morning. Should I sleep over? I'll go on my phone with the echo up here. Get back up here, little thing. Good night. Did I do my skincare routine? No. Did I shower? No. Did I do anything? No. Because it's vacation and I don't need to do those things. I will be doing them in the morning and I- It's not my bed so I can be in the bed stinky. And they're gonna get washed anyway so might as well be stinky in the bed. Might as well stink. And I just wanna not do that. I gotta shower in the morning anyways. And I gotta get ready in the morning anyways. So I'm not gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning only. Okay, 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 what the fuck is happening on this TV?
Good morning. I feel disgusting. It's 9.46, so I can see that. It's 9.46. I tried to wake up earlier, didn't work, so. I'm up now, that's all that matters. I'm gonna shower and get ready. I need to stretch. Great, I just got ready. I don't know if I like my hair. Mm. But it's 10.40 now and I have to check out at 11 so I'm about to go down there and check out. I already packed everything, all packed. And we're ready to go. Oh God, it looks like really, it looks really hot outside. I forgot to show you guys my outfit. It's from Forever 21. Let's go explore Savannah. First stop is breakfast. I'm gonna look up some places right now. I'm so hungry. I'm like shaking a little bit. I also kind of want to get coffee. But I'm kind of like iffy on that because I don't want to like be more anxious. I'm gonna yelp real quick. I'm really grateful that the trees are like shading. Just got breakfast. It's from this place. What is this place called? Bin Bon Bodega. And they like make their bagels fresh. I literally just got a plain bagel with plain cream cheese because I'm Oh my god, I've never had a bagel that like I've never had a bagel at a fancy bagel place. Like that you just I'm gonna take a picture of this. Wow, beautiful. I only had to walk like a couple blocks, it wasn't far at all. But I like have to move from this parking lot because this is only 90 minute parking. But I need to find something where I can park like all day. I've never eaten a bagel like that. I always split it in half, so really good it's not like it's not like crazy but you can definitely tell the bagel is like fresh this girl walked in there while i was waiting for my food and she was so pretty she was the main character like her outfit and everything like she she was just doing it and i was like girl wow wow i just parked on the street put five dollars in no you better stop because i literally put five dollars in oh what's happening parked on the street here it's really pretty over here dude did it just take literally take my it just took my five dollars. I don't have more cash because my ship doesn't work and my card doesn't make it. Great. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna go, there's like another one. So, this machine took my money. It like said, machine not working anymore. Please go to a different one. So, I just went to the one right across the street and now it's saying this space right here isn't an actual space. Like, the number doesn't exist. So, All right, found a new spot. Hopefully, this is good. We'll see. So, I parked at a different spot and there's like a row of cars behind me and I went to go like put money in the um like, the pay thing and there's people in the car that was like sitting there and they they were like hey we were just parked there in the spot you're in and we got it for five hours so if you want it like here you go <laughs> i was like dang that's so nice so i didn't i didn't have to spend any more money because they gave me like the little thing that i needed that was really nice oh. the machine ate my money but i still got the parking look at this place I got a frozen hot chocolate with oat milk and it has pink whipped cream. It's really good. So, I don't even know what I fucking, I've walked around for so long. I was just like walking around. I didn't really have anywhere that I was specifically wanting to go. I just wanted to walk around and like see where life took me, where the universe wanted me to go. Went into like a few little stores. Oh, I went to CVS. So I was sitting in a park, cause they have like little, these little squares that are all like little park things. They're so cute. But I was sitting in one and this man was like, he's like a huge, um, camera set up thing. It's like, do you set it rain? And I was like, I don't know, we'll see. And he was like, it said on the forecast it was gonna rain, so I'm gonna take this big thing to the, back to the office, like his camera. I don't know, he was just saying that it was gonna rain, basically. And I was like, dang, I didn't know it was gonna rain. And then I looked up the forecast and it, like, was gonna rain for the next four hours. And so I went to CVS and I got a water and an umbrella. And the umbre umbrella was $15. It didn't really rain, like, it kind of drizzled. Yeah, that's what happened. Now I'm sitting in the car because my phone was on 3%. And I didn't want to, I didn't want it to die. I actually found my way back to the car by myself. Like I, I found my way with no map. And it was just like, wow, I did that. So, proud of myself. It was a good walk though. It was nice. 
and the people are nice. I want to live in a walkable city. I also really have to shit and like there's nowhere for me to go to the bathroom. Like, I really have to go so bad so that's fun. Hopefully the restaurant has a bathroom I can use because like I gotta poop. You time I walk a lot, gotta poop. Just parked. Found a good spot. I'm about to go eat at this place. It's like literally right here. It's like the next block over which is great because i don't walk too far anymore also i went to target i decided to be really really extra and buy like comfortable clothes to wear home because i'm wearing this dress and it's kind of uncomfortable and i don't want to sit in it for five hours while i sweat and drive home <laughs> at this place it's called avalon avalon exchange it's so crazy because i used to go to this place in orlando and completely forgot that they had one in georgia and then i was sitting in the restaurant that i ate at which by the way was so good i feel like i feel 20 times better like i feel like i haven't eaten a proper meal in like four days with a proper healthy decent filling meal what the hell this card reversed Yeah, sorry. It's awkward. I'm like trying to get my spot. I should have given it to him, but I was like anxious. Maybe I should like turn my car off. I'm gonna turn the car off so people don't think that I'm leaving. I had a good meal. It was really good. The people were really nice. And then I like looked out the window as I was eating and I saw Avalon. And I was like, wait, what? Is that the place that I used to go to? And it was. First thing I got is, I don't know why, but I really like this a lot. It has a sun hitting like that. Oh, this is like a beach cover-up thing. I think it's so cute. It's like a little dress and it has a hood, which the hood is like weird, but I think it would look so cute with a black bathing suit underneath. So I got that. It was $13, which is kind of a lot, but, and then I got this little tank top thingy. It's just white and it has like a little mock neck thing. And I figured I could crop it and it would be really cute. So, everything that I got. I don't know what I should do now. But I still have like two hours until it gets dark. Oh, I fucked the police bar. Bro, that literally scared me. Good talking to someone else. Okay, so I just parked. Well, like an hour ago, I parked on the side of the road over here and free parking past five o'clock, which is great. I walked to a park that's like right here. Fourth, fourth, Sith Park. Really nice. There was like a cool fountain there. People were just chilling, being happy. This lady was playing the harp, the fucking harp in the middle of the park. The vibes are immaculate. I am about to start driving. I'm gonna find somewhere to like go to the bathroom first, if I can. I gotta pee really bad and I kind of want to change clothes. I had a great trip. I had an amazing trip and I'm really proud of myself for doing this because I've never done anything like this and it was so fun. And like just being able to walk around and do whatever I want, I don't know, it was just very fun. I like being alone. What can I say? Also, this city is just so cute. I might have shed a tear of happiness. It's already 8 o'clock and I have like five hours to have to get home or until I get home, so I should probably really leave. <laughs> 